Okay. I have the two wine bottles. I wrap them in plastic wrap because you never want to get your label wet. Your label has to be dry, the front and the back. So I wrap these in plastic wrap. You can't see it, but there's a piece of tape around here and there's a piece of tape around here just to make sure kind of that it's airtight. You want to uncork it, save your cork because you're going to need it to put it back in to your wine bottle. So I uncorked it. You take the, I don't know what this is called, you take this off because I have other ones that I'm going to reseal it with. Then we're going to pour out the wine. We put our real alcohol on the inside. Also, it helps. I'm putting Chevis Regal, which I believe is a scotch, inside of these bottles. Okay. Um, it helps if you get an alcohol that's sort of close to the color of the wine that you're taking out. Okay. So I'm using Chevis Regal to replace it with. So I'm using that. Okay. Let's see if I turn that off. Yeah. I'm using this. Shit. I'm always oops. Okay. This is the color of the wine that came out. You guys see that? This is the color of the Chevrolet Regal. So you want to try to get something that's slightly close to it. You guys can see it's kind of a brownish color. So turn this back on. We're gonna set this to the side. Because now both of our bottles are empty. And I'll be back for the next step. Okay. So the corks have been taken out. The wine that was in there is now in this container. And this is what I'm replacing it with. Pretty close. Okay, so I rinse the wine bottles out instead of letting any wine that's any water or wine that's stuck in there. When I dry them, I dry them upside down. So, this step, you want to get a funnel. Okay, and then you basically just funnel your alcohol slowly if you don't have any help like I don't in into you funnel it into the wine bottle. Done. It's in there. Make sure you get it all out. Okay. Put your phone. 
terminal down. Now we're going to recork the wine bottle. Hold on. Okay. This is my cork that I pulled out of here. Move it back. This is the cork that I pulled out of here. This end has the hole in it. See where that little gash is? So what we're going to do is we're going to take this end, turn it upside down, and use the new end. And we're going to shove it in here. Okay? So you push it down as far as you can with your hand. Okay? Hold on. Okay. Now once you've got it in there as far as you can, you want to take a dime, put it on top, and kind of, I'm not going to be able to show you guys this part because I need both hands. Hold on. All right. The next step to making your wine bottle look like a wine bottle is to recap it. So you remember this thing that came off that was around it and covering it like that? Okay. We have these. We bought these. I have bronze and I have gold. PVC capsules. Okay. This is what they look like in single form. And basically this sits on top of the wine, just like that. And it's going to make it look like a regular wine bottle. I also have this. It's a two-in-one tool that I bought along with when I bought these. It has the directions on the back for the shrink tool. You guys can see that. Glare on the bottle. See this step? Bring the water to a continuous boil. Number four. That's why that's been boiling. I let it boil down too much, so I had to put some more water in it. But it's not that big of a pan. It's not super huge. So I'm going to shrink wrap this now. Okay? Okay, guys. This is the shrink tool. Okay, these are the directions for it. And this is what it looks like. You guys see that? Everything's dark in here. Um, okay. This is the shrink tool. This part at the top goes around the top of the bottle. It has a little cushion to help you keep you from breaking the bottle. And then this is a hook for taking caps off of wine bags. So this is basically what you do. My water's kind of boiling now. Take it, stick it on top, make sure that it's centered and level. I'm right handed so I have to turn it. So this is what it looks like on the wine bottle. See this little handle? See how it hits the bottle right here? Can't really see it because it's black. See how it hits the bottle right there? It's going to keep the plastic from contacting the bottle. And then you put it over the top. Alright guys, my water is at a continuous boil now. So, we got a water boiler. And this is all you do. Pick it up like this and 
you dip it in and you count to three tops. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003. Do it again if you need to. 1,001. And you're done. And it's resealed. Nothing is flush up against the cap. And there you have it. Alright. We're going to take our PVC gold, which matches the one I took off. I don't know if you guys remember this. This is what goes around your bottle. Makes it look all fancy and stuff. So we're going to put this one on. Okay. These are little PVC bottles. PVC capsules. That I got. See? Just a regular little capsule. Then we're going to take our tool. Our shrink tool. easier this way. I'm going to grab it like this. Get a good grip on it because you don't want to drop your bottle. But make sure that it's in the middle. Okay. Grab it. Boiling water. 1001, 1002, 1003. We're done. Now, how it's all around the lid. It's got the little pull tab. I don't know if you can see it. It's got the little pull tab, like most wine bottles do. But we're not gonna mess with that. And it's flush against the bottle. Now you have two wine bottles that look like wine. So I'm going to take the plastic off and you guys can see they look like regular wine bottles. Okay? Alright guys, and here is the finished product. Wine bottles. Wine intact. Bottle. Top. Labels completely dry. And there you have it. The two wine bottles.